Welcome back to another review from Todd's Watch Shop. I'm reviewing another Wenger Classic Executive. I just got this one in a couple days ago and decided not to do an unboxing because it actually came in a padded envelope. And I don't think people do unenveloping. So I figured that would be lame. Um, so this is actually a really nice watch. Um, I'm really kind of excited about this one. Um, and uh, we'll go over it. I'll open it up so you can see it. I'll talk about this later. Um, one of the things you'll notice is that it's almost identical to one of the other watches that I've already reviewed. And I'll go into more details about that. Um, but there's an interesting secret about this watch that I'll reveal later in this video, which I think is really cool. Um, I, I will do my usual review format to include, you know, the reveal, which, which is this. Company history, discussion about the watch, movement introduction, and finally, my inscripted thoughts and, and stuff on the review. So if you haven't already, subscribe, uh, like the video after you've watched it, post any comments below, and uh, stay tuned for the, for the history of the watch. Technically pronounced Wenger, the company dates back to the late 1800s. The company got its start in Switzerland in the canton of Jura. This region is overlooked by the Jura Mountains and famous for a number of watchmakers whose names are too many to list. The company's first line of products include industrial cutlery and butcher equipment. Technically known as Paul Bouchet and C, the company would become known as Wenger after Theodore Wenger, a minister who'd served in the U.S. military, returned to Switzerland and joined Paul Bouchet. They quickly worked to produce a new pocket knife supporting a government contract for the Swiss Army. This contract was split with the company Victorinox, thus beginning the long relationship with the company. For nearly 80 years, Victorinox and Wenger both produced Swiss Army knives. Wenger began production of watches in 1988, a year earlier than Victorinox. Things looked promising for both companies, but they were both hit hard in the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks. New airline rules outlined the use of pocket knives, which were common among passengers. Eventually, this took its toll on Wenger, and the company was saved from bankruptcy only when Victorinox purchased them. Eventually, Victorinox became the sole producer of the Swiss Army Knife, while, com while both companies continued to produce watches under separate names. While the Wenger brand is known for as an entry-level watch, that's not to say that they haven't produced their share of quality watches. Their most famous high-level watch is the GST Classic, which was a mechanical watch powered by the famous Valjou 7750 27-joule movement. This watch retailed for over 10,000 US dollars. The watch is extremely rare and came in at every conceivable complication you could imagine to include moon phase, day, date, and month, second time zone, and chronograph. Wenger is truly an underrated brand, and I really cannot emphasize this enough. They produce watches that range from 100 in today's US dollars all the way to 2000 for their high-end watches. Most of the watches I will review from this company will be in the sub-500 range. For the price point, you absolutely get a substantial value, and this watch is no exception. All right, now that you've had the chance to watch a little bit of history of, uh, of Wenger, um, I'll get right into what I find to be really interesting about this watch. So first I wanna say I absolutely love sub-seconds. Um, I am a huge fan of sub-second watches. I think they're just very classy. Um, they probably did this originally back in, I don't know, 20s, 10s, whatever, because they figured it was too complicated to have a gear within a gear within a gear. And so they just had a separate gear off to the side, so it was probably easier. But now I think it really adds sort of a touch of, uh, of classiness. Um, you see this, of course, this is also, um, we got one of these in, in one of my other, uh, <clears throat> in one of the other watches. Same packaging, as I've mentioned before, this packaging is, is what you get when you order from a uh, big box retailer uh, or you get it online. There's there's some nicer packages. I think I've got, I've got one here. This is from a Wenger GST. Um, sometimes they send stuff like this, you know, and it just kind of goes in here. Uh, there's, there's wooden ones. Uh, circular ones, all different kinds, but this is their go-to when they when they manufacture in bulk. And, and and that's not to say that these these watches aren't very nice watches, but 
quite honestly, I, I've never really been a fan of of, uh, of boxes. I would <clears throat> honestly much rather the money go into the watch uh, and not spend money on a stupid box that I'm really going to throw out. But I understand. I completely understand why people want to keep them. Uh, it is what it is. Let me take this wrap off so you can actually see the watch. All right, so I'm going to get into really what I find very interesting about this watch. One of the things that, that I'll tell you um, in a few minutes, and, and like I've said before, it, to me, it's really important that you know what's in your watch just as you would want to know what's what kind of engine's in your car. I think it really says a lot about somebody that knows what's in their watch. Even if you don't plan on opening up yourself, I think it's just important to know. And one thing you'll learn about this watch is that it has a really nice movement in it um, with respect to quartzes. The movement in this watch is the exact same as what is in many of the the quartz powered tag hooers. Uh, and, and so I, I actually think that that's really cool. Um, it really goes to show that they've uh, put in the extra effort. Um, and the movement, uh, which I'll go into, is a 6004.B Ronda movement. Now, Ronda makes excellent Swiss quartz movements. But the other one that had the GMT, that movement was a Z60. Now, while it is also still a good movement, it is a far less expensive movement. I, I think it's probably to the tune of maybe a fourth the price of the 6004 uh, movement. And um, I'll go into more detail about that, um, but uh, you'll have to watch the, the next video for that. So stay tuned and then I'll do my full, full review. The Wenger Classic Executive with sub-second uses the Ronda 6004.B movement. The 6004.B series caliber is a high-end, three-hand quartz rebuildable movement. These watch movements are available with Swiss-made and Swiss parts designations. The 6004.B is primarily known for its use as a sub-second movement, and this is the configuration that it's found in within most watches. This movement is particularly well made and is found in several high-end quartz watches, including the entry-level Tag Heuer and others in the $300 to $1,500 range. There are two versions of this movement, the Swiss made and the Swiss parts version. The Swiss parts version is nickel plated with a single jewel supporting the seconds gear. This version will typically be labeled as such and would be constructed from parts produced by Ronda but assembled off-site without Ronda's involvement. The Swiss made version will either state Swiss or Swiss R9 to represent Swiss made. The Swiss made version of this movement is gold coated and has five jewels supporting all the primary gears. This movement will have been assembled in house at the Ronda manufacturing facility and while made of higher quality gears will also have slightly improved precision leading to slightly better accuracy. The 6004.B movement takes a 373 battery cell which supports a very powerful stepping motor like other Ronda movements. Battery life can be supported by up to 10 years with a hacking feature, but is rated for 40 months battery life with the watch in full operation. Quality of the movement is very decent for the cost, with a claimed accuracy of plus or minus 10 seconds per month for the Swiss made version. All right, this is my favorite part of the entire video because I get to actually wear this after I stop rambling about it. <clears throat> so I'll try and get through this pretty quick. Um, First about this, this is the hacking feature we had talked about. Notice the crown is pulled out. So when I push the crown back in, it should re-engage. <clears throat> As you know, uh, this, this movement can hold power for up to 10 years with the crown pulled out. And as you recently just heard, 40 months with it, uh, with it in there. So I'll take that out, put that to the side. There's the large manual talked about this in other ones uh usually it has to be signed by the person that you bought it so i'm not sure i actually get my warranty uh this is uh wenger's manual for pretty much all their watches including chronographs and and standard standard watches <clears throat> it's kind of interesting it's got different ones for different movements See, it'll actually say uh i don't know this is russian or something but it actually says z60 for the z60 movements um Part of another reason why I think it's important to understand what you've got in your watch. So, <clears throat> put that to the side. And I'll take this thing out so I can actually start talking about it. Uh, again, you see this is uh, just like the other 
classic executive that I had. It's got a very nice, very nice watch strap. Uh, I, I really like these. I think that they're very nice. Um, it's a 20, 20 millimeter. I don't need to measure because it, it literally says it right there. <clears throat> 20 millimeter um, genuine leather watch uh, signed with the the Wenger. I think I've got to check the signed buckle as well so first thing you notice this this uh, classic executive with sub second is i think a 325 dollar watch so you can see that the model number is 79313c now that's not what i paid <clears throat> excuse me i think i paid uh about 60 dollars uh, again i negotiated as well i got it from uh, a company that buys in bulk and um they uh, they ship them out. They don't even really check them, but I suppose that's okay. Uh, this one turned out quite well. Um, it's a very nice watch. It's the standard style that you get from the classic executives. So we've already talked about this. There is a seal, at least based on the other one that I looked at. There's a seal at the back of the crown and one in the shaft on the shaft as well. So it seals it uh, pretty well. Uh, hacking features enabled. When I push this in, the sub second should begin. Yes, so awesome, good, battery's good. Uh, you can see the date at the three o'clock point, uh, and it's got a very nice, and I don't believe this is called Guilloche, I have to remember what this is called, but very nice uh, design on the face. It's sort of a brushed steel look, so it's definitely metal, uh, it's not a plastic, with uh, gold accent, hour markers, and Arab uh, numerals. <clears throat> polished bezel very nice it has the standard uh wenger mineral crystal uh with three layers of sapphire coating coating which is actually really nice i believe this is also 100 meter yep 100 meter I, I don't know if you can see that which is nice and i've mentioned this before uh, 100 meters is a quarter of a length of a high school track field uh basically a, a length of a football field and uh most people don't snorkel that deep, so you can pretty much use this any way that you would in your normal life. I mean, the the strap isn't uh, isn't waterproof, but um, it still works. Very nice case. Uh, it is a sort of a two accent. It's a brushed case with a polished polished edges, which is actually kind of nice because after a while that might happen anyways, and so they've gone ahead and just polished it to prevent it from, from looking tarnished. Let me go ahead and measure that. I believe it's gonna be a 42 millimeter. Just, yep. yep, 42 millimeter. That's really nice. What else can I say about it? So it's got a screw on back. Uh, the back is, it's a stamped and polished back. Still nice, it's not, brushed like some of the it's not um cnc like some of the others but this case is definitely cnc uh signed crown and i like the two-tone accent color with the rose gold and the stainless steel very nice there's an o-ring around here that helps give it the uh the 100 meter uh protection um we've already talked about the movement but this is a very nice movement and a very nice watch uh at at the price range for this watch at $325, you are essentially not getting anything different in this watch than you are with the Tag Heuer that is selling typically for $1,400, $1,500. So this is a $300 watch. It's a $1,500 watch at a $300 price point. And you can buy them all day long for about $100 on Amazon or, or eBay. So, I mean, I, I know I keep repeating this, but I'm very excited. This is a very nice watch. So, all right, well, I think the only thing left for me to do is to get a nice loom shot, so I will take care of that now. Look at that, that's nice, I like that. So it doesn't light up the indicators, but it does light up the the watch hands. So decent enough, you'd be able to at least tell 
if you were looking briefly at night what the time was based on the orientation of the watch. But how many people actually use that? If you're diving, I suppose it's more important, but you wouldn't necessarily dive with this. But uh, all right, if you have any questions or any recommendations, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much.